stretch it's also called myotactic reflex very simple uh, stretch of a muscle causes contraction of the muscle now uh, types or phases okay uh, or stages there are two one is the dynamic stage of the stretch reflex and the other is the static phase of the stretch reflex okay by now you have read these words uh, thrice in three different situations the dynamic and static sensory response of the muscle spindle that was one then you had dynamic and static gamma efferent fibers that's two and now you're looking at the same words in a third context the stretch reflex this is not new because this is based on the static and dynamic sensory responses that you have studied already so that there is no confusion students when they go through the, this chapter there is a lot of dynamic static dynamic static word usage in different contexts so here i have just just i i've just mentioned it in all those three contexts okay they are interrelated of course they by the way form the dynamic response of the stretch reflex as well uh, the stretch reflex is mediated by uh, uh, the dynamic is mediated by 1a while the static is mediated by 1a and 2 final point is a dynamic stretch reflex is also called phasic it comes in phases it's not there all the time while the static one is called tonic it's there for a longer period of time a classical example of stretch reflex is knee jerk this is that whole diagram in which you have the rectus femoris and this is the muscle spindle this is that 1a fiber going through the dorsal horn and terminating on the what is this this is the alpha motor neuron for the muscle afferent and then in green you have efferent okay and you can see right here that it's a monosynaptic reflex this is a monosynaptic reflex in which the afferent directly innervates the efferent neuron and remember when you have when you don't have any interneurons in between when you have this sort of uh, monosynaptic situation you have very good control very fine control over the muscle contraction the other aspect is inhibition of the antagonist muscle remember whenever you want to contract a muscle which happens to be around a joint it's equally important to inhibit the antagonist muscle the stretch reflex stimulates directly the agonist but a a branch also very importantly inhibits the antagonist so we are discussing dynamic phase or dynamic component of the stretch reflex this is part of your practicals as well where you'll be well you'll be performing deep tendon reflexes when you do the knee jerk when you hit the patella the first thing you see if you hit it properly that the knee would extend but it that is the dynamic component of this reflex and it is present in all the deep tendon reflexes we call it dtrs okay so the dynamic component is that loud thing that you see immediately when you achieve or when you perform or when you supply the stimulus for the respective reflex right so that sharp tap of the patella acutely stretches the quadriceps femoris which stimulates the now you know the technology behind it which stimulates the dynamic back fibers because we know that anything sharp by sharp i mean anything quick is picked up by back fibers in the dynamic response sensory response 1a uh, does this business it conveys the 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 argument to the spinal cord and uh, this typical stretch reflex then gets mediated the knee is extended by contraction of the agonist muscle and now i will add the inhibition of the antagonist muscle check this out what is this a slower static response when you perform a deep tendon reflex the first thing that happens is the dynamic component okay however it is followed 
by a slower static response. So the muscle spindle just doesn't give you the dynamic response and contraction and that's, that's it. No, the slower static response which also got triggered when you hit the patella gets to show itself when the dynamic response is over. This is the UMN upper motor neuron lesion. Upper motor neuron lesions that exaggerate, can exaggerate a stretch reflex. Just remember that. That these reflexes are absent in a, in a thing called spinal shock. Can be uh, uh, elicited, it gets elicited by the dynamic response as a follow through of the dynamic component so but the uh, but the static is not just a follow through of the dynamic you can actually elicit it as a separate uh, uh, separate function you can passively bend the knee when you bend a knee passively you you feel a, a certain degree of resistance put up by the knee that is what he mentions by when you passively bend the knee uh, you passively stretch the cordyceps femoris and this passive stretch triggers the static nuclear chain mediated response that you have now studied many times okay and this causes a sustained tonic contraction of the muscle which manifests itself as an increased tone it's more subtle than your brutal dynamic response which tuck ex uh, extends the knee this however is just a subtle increase in tone and by the way, this is where it also needs to be mentioned that this is how you maintain a posture. And I tease you with something. Try getting up from your seat without bending the knee. You can't get up without bending the knee. So what happens? Maintaining posture. Now remember, please remember this. Static component of stretch reflexes help you in your daily posture business. You're getting up, you're sitting down, your movement. Most of the walking and running of the lower limbs are augmented by the static stretch reflex. How? Well, let's take, for example, the standing up challenge. When you bend the knee, basically what happens? Stretch reflex happens. So when you bend the knee, he has actually bent the knee here. When you bend the knee, the stretch reflex gets triggered and it contracts the muscle. When it contracts the muscle, it's an extender of the extensor of the knee, right? It helps you extend the knee, simple, okay? So in this case, you haven't done the dynamic wala jhatka. You actually have uh, passively, nicely and smoothly bent the knee so the static component of the stretch reflex literally helps you stand up anyone can mm, suggest something what can be a possible application practical in practical life of the dynamics phase of the stretch reflex i mean this is obviously a clinical test isn't it but what about daily life the acute scenario okay anything which makes the muscle jump in stretch sudden stretch uh, you are running or walking and suddenly you come across an obstacle which you which you, which is unexpected and the muscle uh, 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 gets stretched oddly in that one bit of a second or something that bit is that is is equivalent to the knee jerk that you elicited in a patient 